Well, hello everyone. Well, uh, we are hiking up uh, part of the White Mountains. We are in New Hampshire at uh, Cannon uh, RV Alpine Resort. Cannon Mountain. Cannon Mountain. And uh, we were told that there was this trail right across the parking lot from where we are parked that we should go do. Don't know much about the trail. We've met one hiker coming down and she was like, is it a loop? And we're like, I don't know. <laughs> um, it is really steep and ruggerous. Rick, rugged? Uh, yeah, um, as you can see. But it's pretty, it's really cold. It's about, um, I'd say about 45 degrees. Oh, it's gotta be 50. And <laughs> a bit of a wind but at least it's dry. It did rain most of the day yesterday, so the trail is pretty wet. We're having to be quite careful. We have determined that we are going to get some hiking poles uh, the next time we go buy an outdoor outfitter store like REI. But uh, we're gonna continue on. We've been told there are some beautiful views if we can get to the top of this thing. Let's find out. Yes, we have to go over this. Oh, well, after a uh, really steep rocky climb, look at this. We're at uh, a bluff, they call it. Artist's Bluff. Artist's Bluff, to be specific. And that's Echo Lake. And way down there in the parking lot, you can't see it too much, but Tranquility Base is camped out there. Believe it or not, we still don't have cell phone service, even this high up. So that tells you uh, kind of where we are in the world. That's okay. But it is beautiful. I think we're going to uh, enjoy this for a few moments and then head back down. I don't want to be caught up here uh, when it starts raining. The uh, descent is going to be pretty treacherous. We're going to need to be careful. All right, see you when we get down. Well, hi everyone. Well, after a couple days at Echo Lake State Park in New Hampshire, were those views not amazing at the top of Artist Bluff? Oh, yeah, you know what? The, uh, the, the hike up there was really treacherous, particularly the last maybe 100 meters, but so worth it. And today we made our way over here to Maine. Yep, we finally made it to Maine and we're in Sabago Lake uh, State Park. But on our way, um, we stopped at Polly's Pan Pancake Palace. Parlor. Parlor. Polly's Pancake Parlor. Polly's Pancake Parlor. It's a hard one to say. Um, it was a five minutes from where we were camped and actually we found it um, because somebody had 
stopped us yesterday in the parking lot and it said that they always camped in the area where we were and hey, you had to go to this place for breakfast. And we thought, eh, why not? Oh, wow. It is amazing. They stone grind their own wheat. They stone grind their own wheat for their pancakes. Oh, fabulous, okay? Um, the menu is huge. It's all made to order. Very eclectic. It felt like I was back in the 60s. Um, it actually had won a James Beard Award for classic restaurants back, I believe it was 2006. And you can certainly understand why. The portions were huge. Uh, and the prices, I think, were very, very reasonable. For the size of the portions. For the size of the portions. My heavens. And the coffee was fabulous. They even had, this sounds weird, it was a maple-infused sriracha syrup because I asked for hot sauce for my eggs, okay? And they didn't have Tabasco, but they had this other stuff from Texas, which is ick. And she says, oh, but you, you need to try this. And we love sriracha. Okay, we'll give it a go. Wow, all right. I'm gonna be looking for that in the stores around here. Um, really, really good. Anyway, we're here at the campsite. It's gonna be a full uh, weekend. This is Memorial Day weekend. It is the start of season. There are campers here. There are people in tents. I think it's going to be a fun weekend. We've already been told by the ranger for our area that they have a cornhole tournament here. And it is really competitive. And they even give out little uh, plaques or things that you can put up by your campsite to say that you won. Uh, so I think we're going to check that out maybe tomorrow. So thank you again for following along and um, keep us posted. Is there some place up here we should go see that just can't be missed? You saw the gorilla holding the VW and the signpost pointing to all areas. What else should we see? Let us know. Take care. Bye-bye.